we've had to do a conservation plan and a condition survey of the whole monument. And the monument actually includes the wall around the monument, which was the former wall kitchen garden of Hermitage House. Uh, it includes the memorial standing behind me, the reflective pool here, the fantastic ironwork gates and the landscape. Um, and it was all designed by Alexander Nisbet Patterson, who was a local architect. The whole project basically is the re-pointing of all the walls which are currently on the at-risk register. It includes uh, restoring the ironwork, um, original ironwork railings and gate entrance way, restoring the pool, the reflective pool here. The restoration of the actual memorial behind us, um, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, what we're going to do, have it professionally cleaned. All the lettering around it with all the um, soldiers that fell will be redefined. Um, the actual base around the, the, the structure is going to be lifted and relayed again. Um, but actually the memorial's in pretty good, pretty good condition. Um, there's a little bit of, of, of work to do on the top, on the roof, um, but that's only minor, minor works. All the works to the actual memorial will be done by uh, specialist con uh, conservation architects. One of the key things for us is to do all the works outside of the, the key memorial time. So it will probably start um, 2016 after um, November um, and probably take six weeks to eight weeks to, to complete, depending on, um, uh, on what we actually find.